My name is William Humphreys, and this is my story. Meaning of life is in football. It teaches you everything that you want to know, whether it's unity, team effort, respect, discipline, and just to have fun in what you do. I'm around for a long time. Played football here in the league. I'm a coach and I'm also a FIFA referee. I started to play football in Belize. I had three brothers. We all played in the same team, Celtics. That was our team, so we played in the Premiership in Belize City. My first memory was when I came here with my brother-in-law. He took me up to the field and he introduced me to the team. They said to me, you seem to be a good player. And uh, I had on my jersey uh, from Belize. And when I started to play, that was history from there. I played for East End, played all their games um, throughout the whole years that I played with them. And then I leave East End and I went to play with CNB. I played every game again. Um, and my, my main position was inside left. I scored a couple of favorite goals and when I was playing with East End, to win 2-1 or 1-0, or in penalty kicks, um, extra time penalty kicks. Those are my favorite times. Uh, my coach for East End, professional coach from Honduras, his name was Samuro. He was very strict discipline-wise. He would let you do runs from East End to Frank Song and then come back and then put sandbag on you and then you, you do your physical from there. And you can see all the equipment, the balls and bags and everything, but you couldn't play, you couldn't touch it. You just had to do what he asked you to do. In my days, there was, um, I, I think there was four teams that was top of the line teams, East End, Scholars, Strikers, and Yobo Rangers. My favorite team was Strikers. I, I used to love to play against them because um, they used to try to mark me out and they know about me and I know about them, so th those are good times for us. I know you win some and you lose some, but some of the games that we lose, we, we lose ourselves um, because, like I said again, we train hard and we prepare ourselves. We go in a classroom, we, we eat together, we go in a classroom, we, we do tactical, we do physical, we do all of these training together and we prepare ourselves from this coach um, Samora um, once we know the team that we're playing. After I realized that um, I played and I didn't have any more to, to play and I knew that um, we were short of referees and then um, I went to do a test and uh, from there I became a referee. Referee here in Cayman was very difficult in my days. In my days, you were short of referees and you had to cover so many games. That include the, the, um, the primary school leagues as well. So sometimes I would down to do one game, end up doing two games. Some challenges were some of the players and the coaches of some particular teams. The biggest match I refed was the um, Shell Cup. It was in um, U.S. Virgin Islands and I didn't know that I was, they would broadcast the whole game where Santa Domingo had played U.S. Virgin Island. And that game I had sent off one guy and issued two yellow cards. I started to coach, um, I would say, almost 20 something years. Uh, they had these um, coaching courses and I took it and um, I was a coach. Um, and the reason is because I know that there's a lot of kids that was left behind that didn't have the opportunity I coached Soweto, Roma, and Northside. Challenging was fields. We didn't have no fields. I didn't have no light and the time. Most of the players work during the day and they work hard. I remember this in particular, I had a F-150, and I would take my wife home and then come back right here at this field and then pick up some of the guys that would go Northside. That's when I was coaching Northside. And um, some of the guys that was on my first 11 didn't come to train and it causes me to lose my game because I didn't use them because they didn't train. I always will be a coach as long as I'm alive. And then now I'm giving back into the community 
for over 12 years with the youngsters because when I see that I can touch one person and help that person to realize that football is a beautiful game and to help them and to, to give respect and gain respect, it worked both ways. My motivation is actually is to see those kids, especially the ones that uh, didn't get the opportunity. Some of the children come out here from uh, bad situations, I would say. As a coach, you share a lot of things with me personally, and I, I, I try my best to give them my best. My joy is to see those youngsters grow, just grab a hold of it, enjoy it, go and do the best that you can, coming from, from a, a bad situation and making it better for themselves. I don't get to play football like I used to. Um, I get to see the children play and I get to see that smile on their face and I get to see their weaknesses and their strength. I get to see a lot of potentials and skills with these kids. Football can help young people. Um, and, and I see it from, from experience. I see it from my own life growing up and all, all the teams that I coach I, sometimes I, I am so amazed to see some of the players playing in the league. I have always been a football uh, person. Um, I work hard, I play hard, and football teaches me respect, teaches me discipline, um, in, it encourages me um, that I can pass it on to someone else. You know, I, I don't want to be boastful or anything like that but what I want, want them to remember me as um, and that's when the day comes that I was a good coach I taught them well um, I'm all about discipline I'm all about respect and those young people when like I said when I see them coming out that just bring the joy in my heart